Hello and good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another NR2003 live stream. It's good to have each and every one of you here. I hope you're all having a great night. And alas, uh, the day has finally come for me to finally do one of the suggestions you guys have been frequently putting down in my comment section, and that is to re or attempt to recreate that is. Ryan Priest's vicious wreck from the 2020 Kansas race from earlier this year. When uh, Bell and Newman got into each other, caused a little mini pileup. Priest got sent into the inside wall really hard. Got up on his side, back down on all fours, did not flip. And then he had his uh, infamous soundbite. Fantastic! Out of frustration. But I digress. Alright, looks like everything is good. Just had a minor technical issue right before we got started, but seems we're all good now. Why does it say my Twitch session's been going for an hour? I don't know, but we're going to ignore that. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> all right. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's go ahead and unfreeze this chat. There we go. There we go. All right, so we got his uh, proper 2020 Bush Beans. Number 37 car. We got most of the correct schemes as well. There's a couple uh, cars that don't have the uh, updated Cup Series banner, but if I do get a great attempt, we got to switch that out quickly. I think it's like four cars that have that. But I basically uh, looked at the field uh, at the uh, moment... The uh, wreck happened. I basically uh, lined them all up, approximately how they'd be, uh, how they were running at the time. The starting order. We're just gonna do this either on the first lap after the restart or the second lap, depending on how good we can get this. We're scrolling through all the cars so we can see all the cars that were in the pack at the time of the wreck. These aren't all in numbered order because I added on some of these after the fact. I added on about half of them after the fact because I haven't been up to date with a lot of these 2020 schemes as I should be. Alright, I digress. Let's jump in. Since we already did a qualifying session to set the field with the save game editor. It's going to ask us if we want to resume the save race, which we will say yes. Alright, there is one issue. Shoot. There's two issues. <laughs> Alright, I'll get into the first issue I was going to say in a second, but the second issue is I forgot to do the NBCSN ticker. So let's uh, go ahead and escape real quick. Hop on over to our second monitor, which I know you guys can't see. Oops. But on that second monitor, I'm just pulling up my ticker files which I'm going to switch in the NBCSN one from 2013 instead of the Fox one and that will be done in just a sec sorry guys I meant to do this beforehand I knew I was forgetting something where is it layout there we go copy paste all right now we should be good pop that chat back up All right, I swear, I swear we're ready now. <laughs> Zoom save race. All right, now back to the first issue since we got the second issue resolved. A lot of the testing I was doing, no matter how hard I hit that darn inside wall, I could not get airborne. I've already pre-turned uh, up the chassis grip as well as the track wall grip, the track safer barrier grip, and track armco grip. In both the main section of the INI and the, C uh, the CTS section. Excuse me. And even with all that, no matter how I hard I hit that inside wall, I can't get airborne. At least I haven't been able to yet. And you can tell the grip thing I did in the INI works because when I hit the safer barrier, like in the outside wall, it wants to ramp the car up. But not the inside wall. It's, it's frustrating. But I'll show you guys what I mean here. We will... Uh, just go on to the track. Keep it under 55. Sorry, Reddick. Oh, we're loose. But we'll try to get up to speed 
we'll do a lap around and then we'll hit the inside wall on the back stretch on purpose. That roll bar in the mirror so we can see the cars behind us. Uh oh. I feel like I gotta sneeze. We're good now. Alright, to be accurate with the 2020 package, the tapered spacer, we are using the CTS physics version of this mod. Ow! What's up, Brayson, mate? The dollar super chat, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much for it. Good job, dude, bud! Alright, so let's... Let's go ahead and hit the inside wall. That was pretty hard and pretty close to how he hit it, but saw it, the thing did not lift up whatsoever. I mean, it just hits that wall and it just slaps. It does not want to get airborne. By the way, since I have the chassis grip turned up to try to get the ramping effect with the wall, which seems to be to no avail with the inside wall at least, uh, since I got that chassis grip turned up, we're going to see some uh, wheel ramping effect. Uh, during the stream, if I touch tires with someone, they're going to go launching. Alright, so if you go back and look at the replay of, like, the camera that was in turn three looking on the backstretch, uh, the running order should be pretty darn similar. I might, uh... I might adjust the pace speed in the I and I file, get us like double up to 140 or so, or maybe 120 for the pace lap, so we can basically be up to speed by the time we get into the back stretch. Just so we can save time, I might do that. Let's see how up to speed we can get, just without tweaking anything yet. By the time we get into the back stretch, was this? I can't remember. Was this the first lap? After a restart, the second lap, because I know the field is pretty bunched up, so I know it was shortly after a restart. Oops. It'd help if I shift into fourth gear there. I think 95 is the perfect difficulty. Still no airborne. Yeah, it's not a safer barrier. That's the thing. This is the supposedly 2019 version of the track. It's a modified version of the uh, 2014 one, but obviously there's no safer barrier on the backstretch you see there, but that was a pretty hard hit. It's pretty similar to, and there's the camera angle that was kind of like the TV one, except not really. This was kind of more like the TV one. Never mind. Okay, it was the first lap after research, so that's, that's good. That makes it a lot easier. What are you mailing about, cat? Drivers, start Come here. Your engine. I know no one revealed or uh, redeemed 10,000 channel points yet, but let's see if we can't get a cat reveal over here. Nope, he ran away. It's about coat for life. Mike's the writer, NASCAR 9 fan. Oh, there's the cat reveal. Hold on. I'll give you a rain check when I see I'm not going to get up this second since the stream just started, but I promise we will get a cat reel a reveal uh, here in no time. Uh, Connor, Kendrick, Game Fawn, Wyatt, Gotcha, uh, BTR, Cars Fan, Jackson, and whoa, oh, geez, where are we going? Oh, I already lost a bunch of ground. It's going to be hard to get the AI involved and also hit the wall just the right spot. Let's let's just keep trying to practice hitting the wall. Almost airborne that time. Hmm. I'm thinking, is there another INI setting I'm not aware of? Because I know a decent amount. I'm pretty sure I don't know everything, though. I mean, we got the track wall grip, track safer barrier grip, uh, grip, track armco grip on 2.2. I got it set to like 8. <laughs> but 
But is there like a track concrete wall grip setting that I'm not aware of? Because the settings I got, if I touch tires with the uh, safer barrier the right way, it will want to launch the car. But um, just not that inside wall. Drivers, start 2.2. I'll have to switch that if I don't have any luck. Yeah, is there like a track concrete wall grip setting I'm not aware of? Any NR buffs out there? I did not say grip, I said grip. As cool as Tyler Reddick's car looks, I am second might not be the best uh, sponsor to have if you're a racer. You don't want to be second, you want to be first. Am I right? We'll get the cat reveal, I promise. I haven't forgotten. There we go. We actually went that time. Alright, let's see if I can't get a couple AI involved here. Nope, I was trying to hook, uh, hook Kurt Busch. The hits keep being perfect, but just no airborneness. No airborneness as of yet. Let's get a helicopter view. I mean, that hit is basically perfect. Just no getting on the side. What? What can I adjust in the settings that's gonna help get launched up like that? Is there something I'm missing? Drivers, start your engines. Try to bounce off from a different driver. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely try that. But my main concern right now is just being able to kind of get the car airborne on command when hitting that inside wall. Once I can do that, then I'll try to focus on getting other cars involved. But for now, I will. Just trying to get the damn car airborne when I hit that inside wall. I might have to turn the grip up a little bit, just the regular grip. That might be a possibility. We will definitely uh, try some things out here shortly. Some settings, try to give ourselves a little better of a chance. Let's see if we can't put Christopher Bell in the wall. Nope, too late. Same thing. Alright, so it's not just an unlucky thing. I'm not really getting airborne no matter how hard I hit it, no matter when I hit it. I'm not even looking at the chat right now. <laughs> I just see it going crazy and I'm not even looking. Drivers, start your engines. Trap, just time people out. Don't even don't even bicker. Just don't even reply back. Just time people out. Same with you, marker. Jesus. What are we, 15 minutes in? Chassis grip I do have turned up as well. That's the thing. I already got that set to like 8. If you don't believe me, watch. I'll prove it to you. Uh... I will prove it to you here in a sec. And just remember, people, I can always... uh. Turn the chat off screen and period, so just behave yourselves. Please, thank you. There's still nothing. Alright, let's do a backwards big one. Got a shot yesterday, uh-oh. 
Uh oh. You at least get a lollipop. Alright, there we go. How many did we get? Oh, there's still five. The there we go. <laughs> Your friend ends off all right. in. The leader's pitting now. Meanwhile, let's try actually doing the reenactment. Drivers, start your engines. Weather on minus one ninety. Turn up the grip. Ah, got him. Yeah, we'll have to start trying things out here shortly. Maybe once. Once we get to like 30 minutes in with still no luck, we'll uh, we'll start messing some settings around. Slight moon physics. I wish this ain't Wreckfest. This ain't Wreckfest. <laughs> get the moon gravity going on. I'm just curious, Pascal, what is, uh, what do you think turning the weather down is, or the temperature down is going to do, aside from just making it super hard for me to control the car? Oh, I cranked the wheel too hard that time. I'm going to, yep, back it into the wall. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, each time we don't get the yellow thrown. Turn grip up. There's too much debris. I think we got a looks like we lost that motor. I think we got Kyle. Your friend ends all smashed in. Did we? Or did we get the car behind him? Oh, yeah, we got Kyle. Oh, Almarola into the catch fence. <laughs> Let's take a look at the ride. Well, Eric took. Oh, he got propped up by his teammate. That's what happened. I don't think anyone flipped in that. Which is kind of rare for a backwards big one. All right, that's a big fat next. Drivers. Start your engines! Alright, so temperature down, grip up. Possibly chassis grip up. Is there a concrete wall somewhere? Oh! It's a Cody H Gaming fan, 765, with a sticker. Well, kitty sticker, the dollar ninety nine super chip. Oh, up in the air and into the wall. Hard. Mike Kansas. I appreciate the support, thank you. Little kitty sticker. Speaking of cat, I still owe you guys a cat reveal. I haven't forgotten, I promise. I'm waiting for one of them to come by. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> one of them sometimes comes running. Oh, whoa! Uh. <laughs> what happened there? I just barely touched the thing. The thing just jumped around. Oh. There was the uh, wall grip. Right there, you could... You could hear it and see it. The car kind of bounced when it hit the safer barrier. Trying to demonstrate. See, how come I can get airborne when I hit that wall, but <laughs> not the inside wall? My Kansas. Start your engines. I might be all sleeping. I might be all sleeping. I'm like, hey, so I got, I got two. 
I got two, and the rest of my family got two, so there's four in the house total, but taking mine with me when I move out of here shortly. Like less than 40 days now. It's like 30 something and counting. So like I said, get used to this backdrop. Or uh, don't get used to it. Take it in while you can, because I'm going to be moving settings here shortly, hopefully, if all goes to plan. Oh my god, same thing. Oh, there's the ch chassis grip. Finally in demonstration. Who is that that touched tires? Uh, JJ Yaley. Thank you for being the guinea pig and demonstrating what happens when you turn the chassis grip up in the I and I. You touch tires is all in just the right spot. That'll happen. You get that wheel ramp effect. Alright, whoa. Five more minutes, then we'll try messing some settings Fires. around. Start your engines! <laughs> boogity boogity! Yeah, so I'm with the chassis grip too when you uh, just barely nick the car in front of you and just. Tch. I mean, it's not uncommon to spin the car around if you hit the person in front of you in this game, but that quick. Definitely some IndyCar stuff right there. That wheel ramp effect. Don't touch the tires. Alright, so... <clears throat> excuse me. Once again, the uh, primary focus right now is tr uh, trying to get the car airborne on command each time I hit that inside wall. If I can start doing that... Then I'll try to take out Christopher Bell and Newman with me. Oh, nope. Hey, I got airborne, but... I didn't hit the wall the right way. And that was concrete. That was no safer barrier. How you get Austin Cindric's flip? Kinda, yeah. I tried bouncing off <laughs> Christopher Bell to start trying to get the AI involved, and it didn't spin me fast enough. Instead, I take a hellacious shot into that inside wall, and then still didn't scrub off much speed back into the outside wall. Drivers, start your engines! Inside wall will be the original. Make the grip higher. The original what? I'm not. I'm not sure quite what you mean by that. Just the original wall settings. Can you not adjust those? Or is, are you talking about track wall grip? That setting. We got the Bubba emotes already for the 23 car. Hell yeah. Where'd those come from? Alright, let's try this again. I think I gotta move up a couple spots. I think I'm a little too far back in the starting order. I gotta be in front of Kurt Busch, I think. Oh. Oh. Nope, that's just gonna be a pancake. Alright, backwards big one, then we'll switch some settings around. BBO time. Backwards big one for those new folks. <laughs> 
Yeah, someone just nailed me head on, nose to nose, while I was upside down. Uh oh, here comes more. up on the back end. The leader's pitting now. <laughs> Reed Sorensen is still that far back. So Carmen, Lucas, Paul, Tori, appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah, I just got smacked by Eric Jones. Boom. Took out Green Eggs and Hamlin first. Blaney made it right through there unscathed. Let's take a look at Blaney's point of view. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so let's and race. Let's pull the track settings up, and yes, I'll actually show you this series. No, not series. Tracks. Kansas night. All right, here we go. Let's switch this over. Display capture and turn. Hey, there we go. All right, so Kansas night 2019. Here we go. Track I and I. Oh darn! I got my notepad <laughs> open on my other screen. Darn! Hold on. Gotta turn my webcam off for a sec. Also, so it doesn't block your guys' view. I've got a complex monitor set up right now. It's hard to explain. There we go. I kind of got a monitor behind this one facing the opposite way of my room. So, yeah, it's a little annoying. <laughs> Another reason why I want to move out. All right. So, Pascal, what am I? What am I looking at here? Am I just turning the asphalt and concrete grip up? I'll try to do that. It's like 1.8 for each. Oh, that's that's uh, GNS. There we go. We want CTS. Track chassis grip. Arm wall grip. I don't think this even exists, but I'm just going to try. Track concrete wall grip. Why not? Let's try it. Oh, track wall on 60. Oh, okay. Let's turn everything to 60. Hell with it. We'll keep chassis grip at 8, but we'll turn all the wall grips to 60. And we'll also turn the regular grip down a little bit, because I think 1.8 is a little too much. Let's do 1.3, actually. Just so we can get a gripped up, uh, faster trajectory into the wall. But we can still actually slide and not just tip over. All right, let's try that. So save. Now we should be able to minimize this. Go back over here. Uh, click this. Click off display capture. Turn my webcam back on. There we go. Oh, I didn't put the equal sign in. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shoot. I got that. Then I'll copy and paste that up to the normal section. All right, save. There we go. I did the equal sign and I copied into both the regular section of the INI and the CTS. All right, let's. Actually, hold on. Well, let's resume save race, but. Gonna pop ahead a couple spots. In the 
save game editor. Let me pull that up. Where's the save game editor? Here it is. Sorry guys, I promise we'll get to back to crashing soon. This is what the non-exciting part they don't show you in the reenactments of all the behind the scenes setup stuff. Utilities, here we go. Thought I had it found before, but that was something else. Save game editor, open. I won't show you this because I'm just gonna be on this for like two seconds. Alright, there we go. Save. Alright, we should be good. Let's click back on the chat to make sure that ain't frozen for you guys. Alright, back to the crashing. Thanks for sticking in there. Zoom save race. We should be starting in 13th now instead of... Uh, 15th. Should have Kurt Busch and Chris Busher starting Driver. behind us instead of in front of us now. There we go. Yep, or next to us and behind us. Start your engine. That was weird. Why the sound is cut out there? All right, so let's see if these changes do anything. Now we got uh, Newman and Christopher Bell right in front of us. Alright, let's see. If cranking the wall grip up just to 60 does anything. The anticipation is tense. That even makes sense. I'm trying to. Oh, no. Once again, the AI ain't gonna be perfect, so just bear with it. Oh, that was just head on. I didn't even slap it with the right front first. That was a Jeff Gordon type hit. Gonna need to get spun a little bit harder to compensate for the grip being turned up a little bit. Drivers, start your engine. Talking Kitty Cat Jr. <laughs> there it is. Uh, True North Canadian, Chase, Johanna, Mr. Black Spike, NHL, BTR, TNT, Michael. Appreciate having you all here. Austin plays. Lean Tangerine. The Norrell. Zootech. Appreciate you guys watching on Twitch and YouTubes. Alright, so yeah, the starting order is basically the exact same as the restart. We got our NBC ticker. We got the 2019 version of Kansas. It's the most up-to-date we can get. Got all the schemes correct. Uh, the only things that aren't correct are just the Monster Energy Banner instead of the Cup Series Banner for like four out of the 30-something cars. Which I can change after the fact if we get a good reenactment. Recorded. AI are acting a little differently now that the grip's cranked up. Oh. Oh, I got spun by Christopher Bell. That was... Step one. But, uh... I hit it at the wrong angle and did not get here. Alright, should do a stream with Soundhead. I agree. You hear that, Ed? The fans are asking for it. Oh my god. There are not many cars left. Not many cars left after that one. That was an HBO. A huge backwards one. What? Or a BHO, there we go. Backwards huge one. 
there. <laughs> I can do abbreviations. Oh my god, Newman flipping for the zillionth time in his career. Sliding on his roof. Spinning like a top. Comes to rest upside down, I didn't even see him flip. Next. Drivers, start your engines. Uh, something tells me I'm... Why is there always these ones that are gonna seem, that seem simple that are end up being hard? By the way, I don't know if Tango's watching or not, but I did see him send me a Patreon message the other day, and yes, I will get to that sometime next week. I didn't have time to prep for that one beforehand. And I got a busy weekend coming up. I'm gonna be busy till Monday. Appreciate the kind words, Melvin. Good having you here. Next. Let's go. Let's go. Pedal to the metal, Ryan. Alright, we need to bounce off. Preferably Christopher Bell. Just get yeeted into the inside wall. Oh. Alright. I think the grip is too high. I think that the regular track grip might be too high. I can't even spin when I want to now. Here, you guys want to see a throwback? It is Thursday after all. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the end of the pacing line. Stay behind the 17 car. Stay on the end of the pacing line. Get in next to the pit safely. Okay, you've got to go to the end of the longest line. The pace cars in turn three. The pace cars in turn four. Straighten out. You parked at a bad angle. Straighten out. You parked at a bad angle. The pace cars on the front stretch. Straighten out. You parked at a bad angle. Straighten out. You parked at a bad angle. Straighten out, 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 you parked at a bad angle. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I couldn't resist. Drivers, start your engine. Oh, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Oh, I love doing that one. They just, <laughs> they just keep saying it over and over again. Oh, well, the reenactment ain't going so good, but at least it's still being entertaining. <laughs> yeah, welcome in, everyone. <laughs> Haven't heard that one in a while. Wait for it. Green flag. There we go. Let's actually see if we can get Newman and Bell involved in an actual wreck. Oh, stay behind me, Newman. No! Oh, darn it. Alright, let's see if I can get spun by Reddick. Oh! I just killed the beast. You all right? There's an accident on the front stretch. Can we get an F in the chat for the beast? Looks like we're bent up on the back end. <laughs> Have you ever? Especially a Kansas. Well, I shouldn't be too surprised. I knew the chassis grip was turned up, but oh man, <laughs> that's just the first and obviously biggest AI flip we've seen so far this wreck. At least not including a backwards big one. Jeez, he just would not stop. He just would not stop. Let's get a full speed unobstructed look at that. 
Oh, oh, we missed the beginning, but he just kept flipping. He just kept flipping. Someone, I'm sure, will count those. How many? Actually, you know what? Let's find out right now. Did he beat Maynard Troyer? I think Maynard Troyer was 20 or 18, something like that. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Definitely didn't beat it. 13, 14. 15. It's going to be 16. That's still nothing to scoff at. 16. Damn. <laughs> you guys had me <laughs> beat to the punch already on that count. Drivers, start your engine. Yeah, I think it was 16. I should have put that on the <laughs> realistic crash comp. Except I don't think f barrel rolling 16 times at Kansas is exactly realistic. Although, uh, flips have happened. It's not that many. Remember, uh, Chad Boat, the blowover in Arca back in, like, 2012-ish, whenever that was? Blowover at Kansas in Arca, that's right, you heard me correctly. He got a little help, he got T-Bone in the door pretty good, which helped lift him up initially, but... Still, it was technically a blowover. It does, I need to turn the actual grip down a little bit. I think I need to turn the regular grip back to normal and see if there's any different results. Since I turned the wall grip up to like 60. Cause yeah, the regular grip's just weird now. I can't even spin if I'm, oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Still nothing. All right, yeah, let's uh, Gonna back out. I'm not even gonna switch you guys over. I'm just gonna. All right, asphalt grip. Turn that down to 1.01. 0. 0. 0. All right, save. All right, back to the sim. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're getting quick at this. I'm blow over at Martinsville. <laughs> uh, yes. Should do a video. Can I do a blow over at the Auto Club short track? I should try to recreate the Chad Boat flip. If, uh. I think I was going to, but I couldn't find the paint scheme and I got like midway through painting and I couldn't find some details and just stopped uh, painting. So if, uh. <laughs> if anyone knows of a car or a link for the car. That he rolled in that race that Drivers, exists for NR. Start your engines. I would love to try that one. Yeah, once again, I won't be streaming this weekend. I got a busy weekend. Got a wedding I'm filming tomorrow. What I'm gonna I'm filming Saturday, and then I got possibly some personal plans for Sunday. Wall grip over a hundred. I, I might just have to put it to a million. Put the wall grip to a million, see what happens. I'll probably just crash the game, honestly. Probably nothing would happen and it would just crash the game. <laughs> Alright, so the grip's back to normal so we don't get these weird, grippy, weird looking restarts. Actually, try to catch up to these guys and possibly do something with Christopher Bell. Nope. Shoot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god, what a hit. I tried to avoid that. <laughs> I tried to avoid that. Thanks, Ashton. Appreciate it, bud. Yeah, right there. And then once it, <laughs> once I realized I wasn't going to hit the inside wall, I tried turning back towards the pack to join back in and try again, but 
I did not anticipate the rear end kicking out. You can see me. I turned back the other way. I was trying to avoid the spin. Then just right up in front of Alex Bowman. Let's go on board with him for this. As well as Rex where someone just gets out of line and goes flying out of control. Oh, jeez. Bowman got airborne too. Didn't even notice that. You got airborne from hitting me and then going nose first into the wall at such a high speed. Boom. Oh, he got clipped from Castle too. That's a. Or, excuse me, Quinn. Still haven't quite got used to that. That's a. Also, how I partially Carlos, got airborne. Start your engines! Sorry, guys. I missed all those onboard suggestions after I already hit restart because there's like a. 15 20 second delay in the YouTube chat. I swear I'm not ignoring them, it's just the delay, I promise. And I'm not. I don't have the uh, brain capacity on my own to remember the, to look through on boards each time. Alright, after this, let's try cranking the wall grip up to 100, I guess. <laughs> Although, we still haven't. Gotten a good solid hit since I cranked the grip up to 60, so let's let's try a few more before we keep messing around with settings. Got Newman and Bell side by side. I should maybe switch Newman and uh, Christopher Bell's starting position. Darn it! Oh, same thing. Backwards big one time. Backwards big one it is. Each time we can't get a... Oh. I think they wrecked each other. Darn it. Now that was an impact. Look at that damage. <laughs> Even more damage. Get. Oh, oh, here we go. Here, buddy. Actually, I need you right now. Here, cast reveal. There's your 10,000 channel points. Look at the webcam, kitty. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, buddy, I'm busy. I'll... Snuggle you later. Oh, jeez. This went super hard. Right side first into the... Or left side first, excuse me. <laughs> into the wall. And who did I, else did I get hit by? Wasn't really that fast anymore. <laughs> the 27 comes piling in. All right. I still haven't gotten a good hit to the inside since we cranked the grip up to 60, Carlos, so we need to keep trying again. I keep messing that up. I think I am going to uh, switch the 95 and the 6's starting order. Because our thing that caused the wreck was the 95 sliding up in front of the 6. That uh, seems like it'd be more realistically recreated by the AI if I put the 95 on the inside line to get up in front of the 6 on the outside line. See what I'm saying? A <laughs> YouTube chat above me. <laughs> Over there. There. Who's flipping at Dega? I'm not right now. I'm trying to almost flip at Kansas. This ain't Dega. All right, let's just try to get a decent head to the inside. Oh, that was once again a little too head on. Fly directly to the forehead, and my engine's done. That didn't survive that hit.
Boom. Hey, we got a little bit of air. <laughs> Progress. Look, wait for it. See? The back tires are just barely off the ground. Ugh, God. It's always the ones that seem like they're going to be simple that end up being really hard. Start your engine! <laughs> air! Air! We got air. Sorry I keep checking my phone, I'm just... Whenever I got these weddings coming up, I usually just frequently check them, just make sure there's no last second updates, changes, anything like that, just... Getting ready for tomorrow. And I know I usually try to do like two-ish hour streams, but I'm probably only going to go for another hour and a half or so tonight. Only because I got a long day to get ready for tomorrow. I mean, uh, filming for at least ten hours, so... It's going to be a busy day and then another busy day right afterwards, so... That I got another busy month or so in front of me, and then starting November, it's gonna be really calm down, so I'll be able to do streams way more frequently. Darn it! The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. There's too much debris on the track. Now that was a vicious hit. It's never a it's never a good sign when the car is just sliding out of control like that just from how much damage it has in the suspension. Like to the left front right here. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> look at that damage. That's crazy. The pace car Oops. in turn one. Alright, now we just need to Drivers! Get airborne like that when actually hitting the wall the right way. Man, I've been, I've been so busy these last couple months. So busy this next couple, uh, next month or so. Uh, but it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. I will have done like probably 20, 30 races, and I think about a half dozen weddings, and about a two and a half month span. Alright. Gotta focus on getting the hit right. If we can actually get some hits right and I'm still not getting airborne, then we'll try cranking the wall grip up even more. Yeah, I just I haven't even gotten a proper hit since we adjusted the wall grip. Alright, let's try it now. This should be a good one. Still nothing. That hit was actually perfect. Take it to six hundred to see something. I'm still on sixty right now. But yeah, that was uh Right there is the first decent hit I got since I changed it to 60. I was airborne for like a second right there. <laughs> and see, there's no tire smoke. Just for a split second. Does that count? <laughs> there we go. Now let's try a few more times and then we'll try cranking the grip. Start your engine! Try cranking it to like 600. Like Pascal suggested. Like I say, it's ka chow. Ka chow. I was counting earlier today. I got eight uploads or streams. Uploads slash streams. I got over a million views. <laughs> that is crazy. And I think like six or seven out of those eight are cars related. <laughs> what fast air? I don't know what that means. Oh, no. 
No, no. Blend, 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 blend. That's not blending. Oh no! There's too much debris on the track. It rode us close. See, the grip works for the safer barrier. You all right? <laughs> See, when I hit the outside wall, then I go launch it, not the inside wall, though. Oh, Suarez got launched. That hooked me, and then we all just went. <laughs> looked like that even uh, had an effect on Suarez when he hit the inside wall. Or the outside wall, excuse me. And I just went clear over LaJoy. Alright, you know what? We're basically at an hour in. Let's try cranking the grip to 600. I think that honestly just might be too much and won't even do anything. Let's try 200. Two hundred for the track safer barrier grip, armco grip, wall grip, track concrete wall grip. And I'm still keeping the chassis grip just at eight. Although, you know what, let's try cranking that up too. I put that to twenty. Everything else is going to two hundred. We're not going quite to six hundred yet. If it if it doesn't do anything at two hundred, it's not gonna do anything at six hundred. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, chassis grip 20. Save. Alright, back in. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I just flipped over 20 cars at Kansas. Yeah, I'm fine. Drivers. Drivers, start your engines! What else is Wall and I? And I, I basically changed everything I can change. I've added a few other things as well. Uh, just gonna try to get a good night's sleep tonight. Got still lots of batteries to charge, gear to pack and or clean and pack. Got memory cards to clear and then <clears throat> add timestamps for the editors. Got lots of behind the scenes stuff that goes into getting ready for these wedding shoots. Alright, so 200 wall grip. Uh, everything else wall grip. 20 for the chassis grip, so. Oh, jeez. That was as hard as a hit as you could possibly have. That's an angle where you don't spin either way, it just deflects you straight backwards. And that's not the good angle to hit at. Oh yeah, it's like the worst angle to hit at when it just deflects you right backwards. It doesn't spin you in either direction. Just bounces straight back. Uh, good night, guys. BTR, NHL. What's up, Connor? Ninja. The back tires came off the ground a little bit. We we need to. Our tires didn't hit the wall, so we won't know what the effects of the. Grip settings will do until we get that right. Once I get some more free time, I'm gonna do a lot more iRacing streams on Twitch. I wanna do a. I know the fad has long been since killed, thanks to Among Us, but I still wanna to try to get my first ever dub and. Fall Guys before I finally say goodbye to that game once and for all. I didn't get a good hit on the inside wall yet, so I don't know for sure. We'll find out this time, hopefully. 
I need to get a good hit where like my right front tire is the first thing to hit the wall. My right front tire needs to be like the first thing to hit the wall. A little bit, we're getting better. I think that was just a decent hit. But I was uh, I was a little up in the air for that one. That was just a little too head-on. It should have been a little bit more to the side, I believe. Eh? <laughs> it's better than nothing. We're kind of getting there. It's probably the best one we've had yet, honestly, but... Still not really saveable or replay or thumbnail worthy. Drivers, start your engines! Shrimp's doing it among us. Silly shots. Oh, we have stuff recorded already. We got stuff recorded. It's just a matter of me editing and making a video out of them, but I'll definitely try to make some videos in the future with the Among Us stuff, but yeah, I've just, just had no time to edit. Oh, I'm doing two, three races or weddings a week. Trying to do this, take care of stuff around the house. Yeah, there's just no time. But yeah, I promise I will have more time in. Basically, after October 24th, like literally a month from now, is my last race I have scheduled. And the weekend before that is when I have three. That, the 24th, is only a one off event, so. Basically, like, after the 17th, I'm pretty well much free for the most part for the rest of the year. Like, up until the new year, at least. Oh, still nothing. Is there... Can someone tell me... Is there another version of Kansas out there, like the 2014 FSE? It's maybe got older signage, but it actually has safer barriers on the inside. Because I need, I need a track that's got the safer barriers on the inside wall, because that's the only way with the grip settings that I'm going to have any sort of reaction getting airborne when I hit the wall that way. I think this might need to be a different track. Good night, Thomas. Thanks for stopping by. What's up, doggo? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised the 2019 version of this track still has concrete walls on the inside, so... I'm assuming there's a night version of Kansas out there somewhere that might have older signage, but that actually has the safer barriers on the inside wall that I would need. I'll have to... I'm not doing that research now. I've got like maybe 20, 25 minutes left in this stream, but... I'll do that, uh... Do that maybe for part two if I don't get it for this one. How are you doing, Holden? Gallagher? No! Oh my goodness. Oh, there's the chassis grip for you. Taking effects with the 38 and the safer barrier right there. A dozen, this is an update from the 2014 version. Hmm. So Kansas did not have safer barriers in 2014 on the inside wall? Or did they just not have it in that version of the track? That was a, uh... That was your classic wheel ramp. Then right there when he <laughs> started glitching out when he started hitting me again. And I'm bouncing up in the air because my tires are hitting the safer barrier that are all gripped out. Drivers, start, start your, your engines. engines! Oh, that's right. We got a uh, Thursday night football going on right now. I didn't even remember that. Probably the most non... <laughs> Hyped game ever. The Dolphins and the Jaguars. That's a... That's a...
game I'll add to the snooze list. Well, hey, I need a good night's sleep tonight. I'll watch that while I'm trying to fall asleep. Uh, see you later, NJ. Just stopping in. See you next time. Yeah, I just... Unless there's a uh, updated version of Kansas that actually got the safe barrier on the inside, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Oh, that's a... That's a hard hit. Oh! flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. The pace cars in turn one. You blew the engine. The pace cars in turn two. I think that is like the legitimately the first time I've ever flipped like that from hitting the wall so hard grip. where I've not yeah we got the chassis grip and the wall grip but we haven't touched anything with like the actual track grip. I turned that back to the default. That was a, uh, BGO3, ooh. I mean, if you got some free time, not now, obviously, since I won't be able to get to this one again for at least another week or so, but, I mean, if that won't take much time for you, that would, uh, that'd probably help me out. That'd probably help out a lot of people, honestly. I actually got airborne for that hit, but then it sent me up and over. Huge impact happens. Let's race back to the line. Uh, can we definitively say that that was the biggest wreck of the stream that wasn't a backwards big one? Yeah, we had a couple. Actually, the biggest single car wreck. Jeez. I'm, I'm, I'm saving that one. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It's not exactly a realistic crash by any means, but... Huge... Priest... Hit... Hitter... <laughs> that was a massive wreck. Drivers, start your oh shoot, Just, I'm sorry, Connor. I was saying earlier, I'm never intentionally ignoring people's onboards. I hit restart. And then there's a delay, and then I see the chat in the delay. Yeah, that hit was so hard, it literally flipped me over. Now that is promising, though. Because that hit, I got airborne and eventually flipped just from how hard I hit that inside wall. Now, it wasn't... I didn't hit it the right way. It was... I wasn't spun around. But, point is, from how hard that impact was... It was hard enough that it knocked me up in the air and then eventually up and over. So that's promising. Might actually be able to do something even without the uh, updated track with the safer barrier. But yeah, VG, if uh, you can do that somehow, that might be the uh, that might be the secret we need in this equation. There's no response from that wall when you hit it normally like that. It doesn't want to lift you up in the air. You all right? The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. Is that for me or someone else? Oh, I think McDowell wrecked. Yeah. Someone else got spun. <laughs> Sorry, Denny. Oh, now. There's the chassis grip. <laughs> Freaking out. I'm pretty sure McDowell flipped before I had a chance to get them. Or not flipped, he got wrecked. Ooh, spun. Ooh, could this make for a realistic crash for the compilation? 
Actually. Actually. That will make a nice realistic crash for my next compilation. I'll go ahead and save that. Oh, what? Who flipped? Harvick. What? How did Harvick flip? What did I miss? Oh, he gets turned back. Oh! He flipped two separate times. Holy cow, I did not even see that. Big crash for... My... Or uh, not Matt, because I've got Kevin Harvick. Jesus. Different driver that's been in the sport for like 20 years. I didn't even <laughs> see that. Actually, it wasn't terribly unrealistic, even without the flip. Or even with the flip. Realistic. Clip. Record. One. All right, I got about 15 more minutes before Please I head on out. Start your and I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully it's been somewhat entertaining for y'all. No, my cap. That's all right. The water's almost done anyway. Yeah, Kevin Harvick's never flipped in cup, has he? It's gotten close a few times. It's gotten close a few times. Probably the closest was uh, it's a 2016 Talladega the spring race. He hasn't, Johnson hasn't either. I think Kenseth had only flipped in the Nationwide Series until his wreck in that same 2016 spring Talladega race. Man, Kansas. Gordon didn't for the longest time either until that, uh, the shootout. Jeff Jordan's upside down. <laughs> Once again, that hit was probably as close as you're going to get, but no airborneness. I think we'll have to do a part two once we get a safer barrier update. You should post that somewhere on VGO3 if you do that. I'm sure people other than me would uh, find appreciation out of you making that and would be wanting to download it. Drivers, start Maybe make a stun out account or something. Give all previous or credit to the previous track makers to say this is simply just a safer barrier update to add that little bit more of realism to the 2019 version. But otherwise all credits to the previous track owners. If you do that, they're fine with you doing anything. More speed might be it, but, uh, I mean, it's only going to be a difference of 15, maybe 20 miles an hour. I don't think that's going to be that much of a difference. I think it's more just we need the safer barrier grip than anything else. NASCAR Killer Gaming, TV, Jackson. Uh, how are you guys hanging in there over on Twitch? My nose isn't runny or anything, it's just itchy. So I keep trying to scratch it like that. Uh, see, we need that kind of reaction for the inside wall. <laughs> see, that's what happens when you crank up the, you all right? uh, the wall grip and the safer barrier grip. That's what usually happens. When you make contact with the wall. <laughs> Can you imagine if this happened in real life? 
Someone's just sliding backwards, just a normal wreck. They spun, they hit the wall, they're sliding backwards, and all of a sudden just their left rear wheel just decides to grip up and just, all right, I'm going to head out. <laughs> Should I add this to the uh, realistic crash comp? <laughs> Super realistic. Your engines. Junior. <laughs> yeah, Junior's flipped a few times. In Xfinity for both of his. I don't think he ever flipped in Cup. Senior flipped in both. Thing. All right, about 10 more minutes or so, we'll mess around, then I gotta start getting ready for tomorrow. I keep getting my gear ready. What was the latest double flip? Probably a goodies dash race. Two cars flipped in the same race or the same wreck? Same race would be uh, the 2016 Talladega, I believe. Alright, we can save it for a backwards big one. That is, if they don't wreck first. Yeah, Bush flipped in the... Uh, Nationwide series back in 2007. Seven or eight. And get to come to a rest upside down. The leader pitting now. Try downshifting. Hmm. Like right as I'm hitting the wall. Jeez, Hamlin. Got it worse than I thought. Who was that steel flipping? Uh, Almarola. Is Eric Almarola? Kyle Bush is flipping in that too. Where'd Kyle Bush go? Oh, there he is. He's way up here, still upside down. <laughs> Oh, he was sliding a long way. Because he just kept getting hit while he was sliding. Oh, he got hit by his brother. Then he gets hit by Reddick. That keeps him going. And then he's about to get hit by Cole Custer right before the replay stops. Drivers? Yep, guys, I think this is just going to be messing around for a few more minutes until we, uh... We're going to have to do a part two for this one, I believe, once uh, we get a version of the track out that's got the safer barrier. So you saw the ramping effect. You see how easily we can get airborne with that safer barrier contact, which with that normal concrete wall, there's just nothing to... I mean, unless we're just hitting it at like 300 miles an hour, we're just, we're not gonna get up and in the air like Priest did. Probably be the third to last one here, and then we'll do a backwards big one. I won't call a night. We'll give a shout out to all our super chatters, etc. Before we do get heading out. Oh, I cranked the wheel just a little too hard. That was just that solid slapping pancake hit. Crunch in the right side of the car. Kyle Bush's 07 flip. That was a crazy wreck. I remember watching that. I that's a pretty big one in NASCAR history that I want to try to recreate at some point. Just haven't yet. Haven't been able to successfully do it yet. I think Hamlin just got wrecked. Hamlin's tornadoing. I can see him in my rearview mirror. Hamlin is doing the tornado glitch. 
Hamlin's about to suck up Dorothy and Toto and send her to the land of Oz. Send him, excuse me, Jesus. There's damage to your right front. Send them. I can't. I can't talk. That's another good sign. You know, it's time to hang the stream up. Stream up soon. It's when my ability to speak normal English. Oh, jeez, he got hit by Harvick and Almarola, and that's what did it. Here we got Tornado Hamlin. Yes, we will go on board with Hamlin. I see. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm warning you now. If you're prone to seizures, you have epilepsy, look away now. I'm not liable. You've been warned. I think it's the noise that's almost funnier than the, <laughs> the visuals. You have to touch the wall with the tire that looks better. Yeah, it's uh that happens way easier though with the safer barrier, so I think once uh VGO three helps us out, we'll do a part two. We'll credit him and then we'll uh see if we can have better luck. Meanwhile, there's a wreck back here that didn't involve me. Boyer, what are you doing, bud? Uh, does Boyer realize the track is up there. So he's just gonna take all these guys out. Oh, jeez. That was a hard hit. Boy, you're just taking out those smaller teams. That was very rude. Drivers, start your engines! Alright, two more attempts. Oh! You gotta make some adjustments to the sim chair. I love it. It feels cool, but it's, uh... It's weird, it's comfy for short periods of time, but if you're sitting in it for a long... Uh, lower back particular, it's really, really stiff. Senior flipped and won the same race. Uh, I'm not quite sure which one you're talking about there, bud. Might be thinking of the 1997 Daytona 500 where he kept going. Definitely didn't win that one. That was a uh, Gordon, I believe. He won the following year. So technically, he did win that race. It was just the year later. <laughs> he flipped and then won the race. It just took a year. Oh. It's another solid hit. That can't even get a backwards big one in for darn it. <laughs> Alright, last one. Drivers, start now we'll do a backwards engine. big one right off the start, and then shout outs. Call it a night. Yeah, Joe Nemeth, uh, Nemechek flipped and kept trying to go, but NASCAR wouldn't let him because it was uh, deemed unsafe. There's been a few guys that have flipped and kept on going. Yeah, uh, Joe Nemechek in particular, senior back in 97, but he, I think, just completed like a lap or two. I'm sure there's others out there that I can't remember. Alright, last one. Backwards big one, shout outs. Perfect timing too, I gotta hit the restroom like right about now, so. Perfect time to end it. Alright. We can't end it like that. I'm just gonna stop trying to hit uh, the car on the outside. This is what the way the chassis grip is, it's kind of bouncing me weird and then I can't spin to the inside. Here's two flips, Talladega, 96, and Daytona 97. He's got a lot more than that, bud. It's also Pocono, 1982. 
There's practice for, I believe, the Bush Series in 89 at Daytona. There's Atlanta, 76, his true rookie year. I know 79 is credited as his rookie year, but the first years he did any racing was, I believe, was 76 in the Winston Cup Series. 79 was just his first full-time year. Oh. Can't end it like that. Actually, you know what? We probably can. And Brennan Poole just went for the ride of a lifetime. Alright, on board with the 15. Oh, he thought he was by and we touched tires. And that was all she wrote. <laughs> Poor Brennan Poole. He was just minding his own business. <laughs> that's a hell of a that's a hell of a wreck alright that we're not going to end the forwards one going uh, the regular forwards attempts any better than that so let's do a backwards big one here shall we Drivers, a true backwards big one engines. Poor Brennan Pool. Just mind his own business. This comes launching up. Just like I said, I. A uh, few more weeks. Basically, after like the 17th of October is when I'll be like really free. I have one more race on the 24th, but that's like my last super busy weekend. And then I'll be able to stream a lot more, a lot longer. Green flag, green flag. Green, green, green. Alright, backwards big one on the back stretch. Well, the pack is completely filled up. There we go. I don't think we're going to get any better than that. I don't think we're getting any better than that. You got a slow car up high. Car outside. I'll just let the car keep going until we hit the inside wall. Or come to a screeching stop, whichever comes first. The 99 of Stenhouse almost up in the air. Wait for it, and. You exploded a tire. Oh, now we got deflected. Alright. That is it, folks. Looks like you're leaking some fluid. <laughs> we are going to pull up. All the donators and everything, so we can give shout outs. Oh, <laughs> Hamlin. Jeez, Hamlin went flipping to the inside wall. Hamlin went flipping all the way to the inside wall. <laughs> what an impact. Here we go. Oh, he got hit by Chase. That's what sent him really launching. Oh, into that catch fence. Listen to that sound, that was beautiful. Just that was solid car on catch fence. That was solid car on catch fence. We need a another audio bite of that. <laughs> Alright, where what happened to Chase? What happened to Chase here? Here we go. That's what happened to Chase. He ended upside down. Alrighty. I'd say that's a good as a spot as ever to end here. Let's pull up the analytics page on Streamlabs so we can give one last shout out to all our very generous donators for tonight. It looks like we've got 
three or two, excuse me. Got two. We had a dollar super chat from Bryson Mate, and then a dollar ninety nine from Cody H Gaming Fan seven sixty five. So appreciate the support. You guys truly means a lot. Glad to have you all here. Yeah, we got like three viewers on Twitch, so we won't rate anyone. Uh, let's end it. Yeah, I got wedding tomorrow, wedding Saturday. Got other plans Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I might be able to stream. Hopefully, I'll try to do all three of those days. And then Thursday through Saturday, I got three more races. I'll be down in Lincoln, Illinois for the Dirt Car Fall Nationals. So, yeah. Uh, as always, if you guys got any suggestions, once the uh, live video is done processing and the normal comment sh pop up, up, I was gonna say show up, but then I went to pop up, sh pop up. There it is. <laughs> once the normal comments pop up down below, I'm always uh, down to hear whatever suggestions you'd like to see me do in the future. That being said, we are gonna cue this outro music here and call it a night. All right. Once again, always good to have you guys here. Truly blessed to. Uh, do the stream for you guys. Hope to catch you all next time. Till then, hope you all have a great rest of your night. See ya. Bye.